Congratulations on your Prefert Arena purchase. This video is designed to give you an overview of the Arena installation process. Keep in mind that your Arena layout and the layout of the Arena in this video may differ, but the basic installation procedures shown here will help serve as a guide to ensure that your Arena is installed correctly to provide you many years of service. The first step for any Arena installation is site selection and preparation. It's important that your site be conveniently located to best fit your needs. Often, people select a site that is close to their barn, home, water supply, and electrical supply. If you're going to be using an automatic roping chute, a nearby electrical supply will be crucial. It may be necessary to have dirt work done to your location to ensure that you have a safe, level area for riding and adequate drainage. You may also want to consider having your roping box and roping chute area at a slightly higher elevation so that this area does not hold water. When preparing your arena site, make sure you take into consideration your complete layout, including any cattle holding pens, alleys, etc., to ensure that you have the adequate space and appropriate layout for moving livestock to and from the arena. To begin laying out your arena, you will need to know the overall width and length of your arena and the attached holding pins and alleys. The arena in this video has an overall width of 163 feet and an overall length of 277 feet. The first step is to drive stakes and pull string lines to these measurements. We begin with the stakes marking the length of our arena, driving our first stakes 277 feet apart. With the first two stakes driven, go ahead and pull your string line between them. The third stake should be driven to determine the roping box side of your arena. For this arena video, the third stake should be 163 feet from the corner stake. It's very important to get this stake and string line corner set at a 90 degree angle. To do this, we recommend using the 345 rule. The 345 rule is commonly used by carpenters to ensure they have a perfectly square 90 degree angle. If a triangle has three sides measuring three, four, and five feet, it must be a right triangle with a 90 degree angle between the short sides. If you can find this triangle in your corner, you know your corner is square. Begin by measuring three feet along one side of the corner. Use a marker to mark this measurement on your string. Next, measure four feet along the other side of the corner, again, marking this measurement on your string. Now, you'll need to measure the distance between your marks, adjusting it to five feet. It's very important that you are precise. If your distance is less than five feet, your corner will be less than a 90 degree angle. If the distance is more than five feet, the corner will be greater than 90 degrees. What starts at the corner as only an inch or two off quickly turns into feet further down your string line. The 345 rule can be expanded to make it easier to set corners for large areas. Simply double each of the numbers. For example, the 345 rule can become the 6810 rule or the 121620 rule. For this arena installation, we use the 60 80 100 rule. After setting up a 90 degree corner angle, determine the stake placement for your second string line, drive your stake, and pull your string for this end of the arena. You can now move on to making the return alley side of your arena. For our arena, this string line will be 277 feet long. Again, we use the 60, 80, 100 rule to ensure that this string line is at a 90 degree angle from the string line marking the roping box end of your arena. With three string lines in place, you have determined both sides and the front of your arena. You should now be able to run the last string line from stake to stake on the back end of the arena to complete your marking. We recommend double checking the back end of your arena by applying the 60, 80, 100 rule to one of the back corners. With your arena dimensions marked, you can now begin to set up your product. We recommend that you set up the 90 degree premier sweep first. This will go in the corner of your string lines at the bottom right corner of the arena if you're standing behind the roping boxes. The premier panel with alley frame will be butted up to the front string line, and the premier free swinging bow gate will be butted up to the side string. For full details on how to properly install your sweep, check out our How to Build a 90 Degree Sweep video. 
With the sweep installed, the next step is to attach the steer alley panel kits to the 90 degree sweep, making sure that you keep the steer alley kits in line with your front string line. At the end of the fourth section, you will build the 90 degree steer alley turn. For full details on installing your steer alley and the 90 degree corner kit, view our how to assemble a steer alley kit and a 90 degree steer alley kit videos. Once the 90 degree turn is in place, you will set up two more sections of the steer alley kits to complete the lead up alley. The roping sheet will be placed at the end of the steer alley and chained into position. The right side of your roping chute should be 42 feet from the right string line. You're now ready to install your return alley and stripping chute. The first items you will set up on your return alley will be the premier panels and gates that will make your catch pin before the sweep. On this arena, we put the 10 foot premier walkthrough panel next to the sweep on the hinge side, then a 10 foot premier panel and next a six by nine premier bow gate. On the latch end of the sweep, we attached a 16 foot premier panel and a 10 foot premier panel. Since this is a confinement area, we recommend using six and a half foot T-post in the connections of the panels to help prevent these panels from moving around. Next, attach the 10 by nine premier free swinging bow gate across the alley, attaching it to the 10 foot premier panel and the six by nine premier bow gate. For added convenience, we recommend that the latch be set towards the inside of the arena. The right side of the catch pin will line up with the string line on the right side of the arena. Once the catch pin is finished, run the string line for the inside part of your return alley. In this particular arena, we needed to place our 12 foot gate as the first item on the outside of the return alley. This placement allows for the cattle to flow into and out of the arena based on the layout of the existing pasture and fencing. The 12 foot utility panels that make up the rest of the return alley can now be set into place. For full details on how to install these panels, check out our how to properly chain a prefit panel video. For your return alley, we recommend driving a six and a half foot T-post at the connection between the panels at every other connection point. Once you finish setting up the return alley, you're ready to set up the holding pin and stripping chute. The first item to set up is the 10 by nine premier free swinging bow gate. Again, we recommend placing the latch toward the inside of the arena. Next, set up the two 12 foot premier panels and the six by nine premier bow gate that make up the inside of the holding pin. You will connect the 6x9 Premier Bow Gate to the stripping chute release gate. Now, set up the panels that make up the outside of the holding pin. For this arena, that included three 12 foot Premier panels and one 16 foot Premier panel. The last 12 foot Premier panel will hook up to the stripping chute release gate. You're now ready to finish setting up the stripping chute. Begin by attaching the 12 foot Premier panel on the back side of the stripping chute. Make sure you attach it on the inside of the tabs on the stripping chute release gate. Now attach the 12 foot gate on the front side of the stripping chute release gate. Make sure you place it on the inside of the tabs. Next, place the stripping chute entry frame on the back side of the 12 foot premier panel and 12 foot gate. You will use the cups on the stripping chute entry frame to secure the 12 foot premier panel and the gate to the stripping chute entry frame. While setting up the stripping chute, You'll keep the back side of the chute lined up with a string line on the back side of your arena. You may want to attach a wing panel onto your stripping chute to make it easier for cattle to find the entrance. You can now finish closing up your arena. Start at the stripping chute, setting up 12 foot utility panels down the back string line. We recommend putting T-post at every third connection on the rest of your arena. When you get to the back left corner, make a gentle curve with your panels so that you don't have a 90 degree corner. When coming down the left side of the arena towards the front end, stop at the corner. Now, start setting up the panels at the gate post and work your way back to the front left corner. You may need to adjust the corner to make the panels come together properly. Move your roping boxes close to the position where they will be set. You will have a right and a left box, also referred to as a healer and a header box. Begin by slipping the legs into the roping box back and side. Use the self-drilling bolts to attach the legs. Now, stand the two pieces up and slide the collars welded onto the back into the sleeves at the back of the side piece. Once this is done, take the piece of angle provided and attach the back and side together using the included bolts and nuts, 
making sure that your nuts face the outside. Now position the box 12 feet away from the side of the roping chute. This measurement is from the inside of the box to the outside of the roping chute or alley, and 16 feet deep from the front of the roping chute where the barrier hooks up. Once your box is in the correct position, mark around each leg to prepare to dig the holes to set the box. The roping box is designed to have 36 to 38 inches of clearance from the ground to the bottom of the box. Make sure you level the box before you concrete it into place. It's now time to complete your arena. Finish setting up the ride-through gate and the 16-foot panel on the healer side. The gate will attach to the return alley and the panel will butt up to the gate post. On the header side, you will finish setting up the two 12-foot panels between the two gate posts. Your arena is now complete and ready for use. Visit us at prefort.com to check out our complete line of roping products and arena accessories. If you have any questions, please contact our friendly inside sales staff at 1-800-527-8616. Prefert, America's number one name in farm, ranch, and rodeo equipment.